climate change will mostly change the conditions of migration rather than the levels of migration. We always see in the headlines or our news articles is in the future, X millions of people will move because of climate change. And you don't get any information about what's happening now. The truth is that communities are being affected today, now. The atmosphere isn't divided in, with borders uh, internationally. You cannot really point to a specific event and say this is caused by climate change. And I think that rather than set apart climate migrants as if there were a kind of specific kind of migration, we need to better understand how climate change influences the other drivers of migration. It's so much more than this legal and policy-oriented conversation, and we've seen people are already on the move. This winter, there was no snow at all. I've seen snow only when I was skiing and there was artificial snow. We can't think about, well, climate's not affecting me or it's not such a problem in my country. But when we actually look at climate change and see that we're all affected by this as a humanity. Yeah, we've definitely seen the impacts of, of climate change from cyclones in Mozambique uh, and that driving the movement of people. Those in the global north have contributed significantly to greenhouse gas emissions in the global south are the ones suffering the most consequences. So there's a huge injustice. When I read the headlines that billions of climate migrants will come to Europe, the first thing that comes to mind is sensationalism. There's lots of these very disaster, natural uh, metaphors that, that are used that are often overwhelm people who are reading it, but also dehumanize the people that are at the heart of this. It plays on the fears people have of migration in order to stimulate climate action. So if you don't want migrants, you better do something about climate change. And that is a very dangerous route to take because you're not protecting those people that are migrating and you're not actually stimulating climate action. I'm Caroline Zikrav. I'm a specialist of climate change and its relationship to migration. And I'm the deputy director of the Hugo Observatory in the Department of Geography at the University of Liège. All right. Hi, my name is François Germain. I'm a researcher and I serve as the director of the Hugo Observatory at the University of Liège in the southeast of Belgium. The Hugo Observatory is a research center dedicated to the study of the interactions between environmental changes and migration flows. Now? Yes. Okay. Hi, my name is Yvonne Su. I'm a professor at York University, and I study refugees and forced migration. I'm doing my best to look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> 